Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to the, the scene of last episode's <laughs> as Alicia took down uh, Kanga. Boy, she enjoyed that. <laughs> that. That was funny. In fact, uh, Annie wrote in, she was impressed too. She says, if we know who will be doing the cremating from now on, she will whistle while she works. She got quite the, uh, the rush out of that too. <laughs> oh, Rimworld. So... Alicia took down Kanga. Shantigo's the only injury so far, right? I think Michael's been shot at so many times, and he's been missed every time. And now I know a little bit more about why. So the uh, the new foundation wrote in, kind of enlightened me a little bit on, on this targeting or this cover system. Um, first of all, you got the reason why it seemed to work randomly is you need to choose somebody, and then you can see how this person will affect them okay let's try this way there to there there we go so sangria has a 1.1 percent chance of shooting sierra and it's not only based upon what we're seeing there but many other factors of course we've seen how injuries can can limit one's ability to do something though this one-handed short bow over here was a little bit uh, frustrating i've never seen someone shoot a bow with one hand before but at 88 percent chance of accuracy 88 percent accuracy rating after losing the left hand but injuries do affect how well how accurate you are with your weapon uh, injuries to the eye for for aiming that kind of thing um so physical issues uh, the condition of the of the bow its quality, all those sort of things also work into the uh, uh, the factors here to create the percentage chance of, of shooting or being shot by whomever. And cover, um, I was I got to thinking after I recorded that, this door is not done yet. So this room is not truly a room yet until that's built. Maybe that's why we were not getting any sense of uh, cover of darkness but because uh, I, I know that used to be in the game and Cathra has, has brought that up several times in her series but uh, Lady Shell said that uh, in her comment that uh, that isn't a, uh, used in the game anymore so darn that was the, kind of the point here of uh, you know these doors popping them open and standing in here being in some darkness and being able to shoot out of it might have given us some advantage so that's too bad I wish that was still in the game because that allows you some strategy some uh, you know creating little little nooks i was thinking of another building maybe right in here with a couple of doors right there in darkness and be able to shoot through you still be out of the blast range of this if it goes off which has finally been hit by someone or something look at all the damage the uh, uh the sandbags have taken but got lots of other great comments coming in not all of them directly related to this battle so i might wait to bring some of them up till we're done here see you know, how much time is left over in this episode to get back to doing what we were doing before we were so rudely interrupted but uh, one thing that uh, came in from David um, and Kaya or Kaya K A Y A is that Kaya or Kaya um, we're, we're talking about you know doing something in here to eliminate places for them to take cover you know straighten this out right here so that they they're you know they're like this one um, how do I get to see that? Right there. Okay, handy shooting this one. Let's go this route. So, Brixo. Brixo? Yeah. It says at the very bottom there no cover. Because there's there's nothing hiding him or her, her from uh, being shot at. So, clicking on handy, we can now go through and see that she's got a 5.5% chance of hitting this one. She's got a... 32% chance of hitting that one. This is, I believe, that's Rabbit's Bullet coming in, who has a 52% chance of shooting, of, of hitting. Klaus has less, and I did not understand that one. He's got a 41. I looked at it just before I started. He's got a higher skill. The, the, the distance is different by one square only. The weapons are almost identical. Normal, 100%. Normal, 99%. Oh, it shows me right there. So, yeah, so basically identical weapons. Um, needs there and there, almost identical. Klaus has more skill in shooting. I don't know what else to come up with to explain why Klaus's chances are 10% less. 
So that one's baffled me with it. You know, the the idea was that there were lots of calculations going on behind the scenes beyond just the shooter 48%, weapon 86%. You know, the, what makes all those up and, and how that averages out and what have you. So there's more to it behind the scenes than we get to see is basically what it comes up with. Um, anyway, Cathro is still trying to get to that revolver. <laughs> Tomislav worked over here, and he is, he just took down Badger, and I think I'll leave him right there, as these guys round the corner, he'll surprise them by shooting them in the back, though I wish he could reach this one, but I don't want to bring him out there to reach, because they'll turn right around and shoot him in the face, so I'm not going to risk him there. I did wake up um, Natalia and Missipi between episodes, sent them to this door, and that door. So in fact, I can put Natalia actually in the door. Right there. So they'll pop out the door. Hopefully, these guys will get in there a little bit further and they'll be able to do something. Otherwise, I'll send them out around the corner as they're starting to flee. But we've got um, uh, five dead enemies and seven live enemies. So I think we're, we're coming up to the 50% point. Be curious to see if it is 50% or less when they break and they leave. But um, what David was talking about and you know, was to clip this thing off right here and smooth this whole thing out between him and, and Kaya, you know, come up with ideas and leaving the, the boulders behind to delay them. And that triggered something in me when I read that. What if we loaded this thing up with boulders? We know we can put boulders or chunks out in the water, uh, in the shallows. What if this whole thing was solid chunks? You know what that would do? As well as smooth it out. So that, uh, although if I if I didn't smooth it out, just left it all chunks so that it's all water, then we would have an obstacle here comparable to the chunks in here. I wonder if there's a way to make this so difficult to traverse that this becomes the easiest way in we can get back to using our gauntlet again rather than dumbing this thing down by either breaking it right here and letting them in so it only calculates this half or taking every two or three rocks out and making it you know less less of a of a of a difficult thing to pass through making this the easiest path what if we made this the hardest path and then we can get back to popping in and out of doors and all the you know, all the fun that goes along with that. So that's something I want to play with in the next few episodes. I might fill it with rocks first, and then we'll clip it off. Because I have a feeling that, well, I don't know if that's true, but rocks in water seems like that would be slower than rocks on land. Like that would speed up their pathway a little bit more. I might be wrong. A boulder may just be a boulder no matter where it is. But I don't know. Kick around that idea and tell me what you think. But, um, is that all we need to talk about before I turn this on? Uh, looking through notes, I think that's it. Okay, so what is happening here? Where are we and are we still in position? So we're shooting, we're taking this guy out, who is watching for targets and not getting any sense of aiming. I'm guessing you're out of range. Handy sniper. Oh, clear over there. So, no, you're still in range then. Because that is the short bow. That was 29, I think. That's 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 35. Well, you might be out of range from these guys. And if you're out of range there, you might be in range with, with Michael, though. I think you have been shooting at Michael. Though this is really what everyone's concentrating on right here. Be nice if that survives. And if we can get into the... Well, where does that come in? Turrets were right there. Where is the... I want to call it advanced turret. Is that out in this mess? Ah, oh, don't see you there. Ground penetrating ships over there. Drilling. Multi. The the turret that is made with plasteel. Where are you located? That one will take so much more damage before it'll blow. I just don't see it. It's probably here right before my eyes, but I... All I see is gun turret. I don't see anything beyond that. Um, security. Improvised turret. That's not the same thing. There was one that was. Oh, is it just the improvised turret made out of plastool now? Pl plastil now? 
There used to be two levels of turrets. Maybe this all been combined into one now. Okay, so a plasteel improvised turret. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe that's the route to go. I'm trying to decide just what to use this plasteel on. I'm hesitant to use it at all until we stumble across a new vein of it in here somewhere. So that we know we can mine more, because I don't believe we've ever come across plasteel out here. I don't remember that on, on this map. It's fairly rare. Quite often you'll play a game and never see it. We we were lucky in our Alpha 13 series, we got a, two big chunks of it. But I don't recall ever coming across plasteel on this map. I think I would have flagged it. And yeah, made a big deal about it. Anyway, um... So, if this were to become a plasteel turret, since this is the one that has blown up, I believe this will be number two, meaning I'm pretty sure this guy's toast. Unless we take down somebody right now and right now, and we get past that, whatever the percentage is, it sends them running. And we'll try to make note of that, because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven live ones. And one, two, three, four, we're missing one. One, two, three, four, five. So seven, five. So we get to six and six. We'll see what happens. And we get to, to five and seven. We'll see if that is the what I'm guessing is the trigger point. And if that's the case, you know, below 50%, then we'll kind of know how to gauge when a battle is about to end in the future. Anyway, um, let's reposition folks. Actually, if we're that close to the end, could just get Shantigo on his way, but he's still... No immediate danger, it's just a cut to the liver, that's all. So I guess just a little thin slice went in. That's in it, poked his liver a little bit. We'll, we'll say that's it. So he could get back into position here and get ready. Alicia, since you have no problem with being near dead bodies anyway, let's put you there. Now that will peek you over. You're only going to get a window of about like this, though so you might get locust. Let's see here. You will. Okay. From there, you can take these guys out who are hiding in cover. Shantigo will be able, to, able, be able to also, but of course, they can hit him too. We've seen that happen. Hmm. And I realized when I sent Shantigo up last time to open that door and get back, I had actually got that reversed and he opened and closed it again. So, yeah, it didn't work. Um, I would love to take that tree out. Anyway, um, is all the wood there? It is there. <laughs> Um, Shantigo, um, can you build that for me? I want to see what happens. Just verify that Cover of Darkness doesn't show up when the room is 100% complete. Just want to verify that. Also got to thinking maybe it had to be bigger. Maybe, you know, within so many squares of an opening, it would count as daylight until you got to, like, three back or something. Like, the room's just not big enough. But that was frustrating. The cover, cover of darkness isn't there anymore. Anyway, you guys are all set to... You're aiming here. And Michael's aiming there. And you two are aiming out over there. Okay, that's good. Two and two. You guys are, are a mess right now. And you're mostly focusing on this one. Michael... Okay, Sandra is after that one. Shantigo is going to quickly build a door because, really, if I put him here, he's just going to attract their attention. The, at least that one, Vol, is going to shoot him again. I'm a little spooked about that. Let's see if uh, Alicia can take Vol out and then Shantigo can, can shoot at the uh, at Locust here, who's who's just got a club. Um, the ladies here are going to hit these doorways in preparation for these guys coming through, though it's very possible they're not going to. Who's got the better running speed? Alicia is a 3.4, and Miss P's got a 3.1. Both kind of slow. So I'm hesitant to put you both over here in case these guys are around the corner and, and come at us. All of the ones with the clubs very, may very well outrun us. Though there aren't any now. Just locusts, right? And Sarah here going after a turret with a knife. Bringing a knife to a gunfight. Yeah, that doesn't work. Anyway, can I get this guy going? Well, no, not okay. Alicia's going. All right, everybody else who will be part of this just isn't there yet. All right, are fleeing. Okay, what just happened? Right there. So we hit the fifty percent mark. Six and six. Sierra isn't down yet. That's going to happen here in a second. It shows me a line. I don't remember being shown a line before. 
Does that mean the bullet's on its way? Shot by 10%. I've never seen the line before. Why is that the case? You are definitely shooting here, but there's no line between you and it. Huh. Why the line? When there isn't one, though Handy is obviously about to fire at Sira, and there's, there's no line coming out there. So much randomness, it feels like, in this game now. Like, like... I don't know. There's been some, you know, I'm I'm off the grid here. I'm not running through Steam. I've got my own copy and it is independent of Steam. I really wonder if there've been a couple of hot fixes that have come out since beta 18 was released, fixing all these little randomnesses that I'm detecting. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe I'm being a little unfair to a game that I haven't gone back to see if there's a a new version of. Anyway, um, arrows are all coming into here, and they'll probably hit Sierra effect, will it, will it say? Let's see, right here, you injured, shot by Tronka. Yep, you have a chance. You have a 0.8 chance, though. Okay, the 0.4 chance of being, of the steel turret being hit by. Okay, but who's the other arrow? Tasca? Did you fire? 2% chance. Hmm. Boom. Ouch. That looked like the face. And uh, that was... I don't know who it was. It came from this direction. It was either Michael or it was a turret. Flying into here, we've got the Sangria's charge shots coming in. And bing, bing. Boy, I hope that survives so I can go and repair it. Um, you're fleeing. That's right. They're all fleeing. Okay. Now, fleeing. What does fleeing mean? It means we can't rush in behind them because we have a turret going at us. If we turn off the turret, we can go in behind, but we lose the, you know, the advantage of that turret, but I think we'll turn off the turret. And Michael, trigger, you do that, and there's no more checking this anymore, because nobody else got in place to shoot us. Okay, so don't have the, the we'll have to wait till next time to verify that. But, um, phone just went off with a text message. That's always distracting. Anyway, who's going after whom here so we can get on with our lives? You, Tomislav, assault rifle, race to here, there, there. Shoot down this length. Okay, who next? Um, Chantigo, when you know with that, why don't you go grab a hospital bed. Sangria, you don't have the greatest run speed. Hmm. I thought you were really low fours, though. Now you're in the mid threes. Okay. So you chasing after him is probably not the best thing, though. You're lined up to take one more shot. So let's let that happen. And this one went down and dead, which means every one of them so far are dead. We have no prisoners. Let's see if we can gain some prisoners. You guys aren't going to do me much good. Handy's still got a... No, she's only running at a 4.9 now. Rabbit, you are at a 4.4. .4. It means you're done with the disease. Klaus, you're done with the disease too. So we are now... Nope, not that one right there. We are now just measly four and a halfers now. Hmm. So you guys chasing after him is not going to do any good either. Who else is out here that can run? Alicia, you run along at 4.3. So we could send you, though you don't have a lot of range. Let's send you to here and see if you're still in range with somebody who hasn't made this turn yet. Uh, Shantigo, you're injured, but yeah, you're 2.2. Your injury's going to stop you. So who else is left? You two are slow. In fact, we can go ahead and turn you off. You're not going to be able to get in on this particular battle. Um, Michael, you are at a 4.57. You've still got a shot, though, so I hate to move you. You've got the good, a good rifle, too, the assault rifle. Um... Hmm, Catherine, you go ahead and continue what you were going to do, because I need to get you armed. Well, I can draft? Oh, so how did you get undrafted? Because you won't go after a revolver while you're drafted, so I had to wait for you to get there and get done. That's right, okay. So you three, what do I do with you? A good range. I could run somebody out to right here, and then they'd have a line of sight of something. 
fastest of you guys and condition of you guys. You two are fine. Handy, you are fine too. So you're the jogger. I'm going to say it's you. If I can get you to there. Is that deep water? I think it's still okay. If I can get you to there, if they haven't gone off the map yet, you can get one shot in maybe. That was it. Otherwise, I guess we're kind of done. There's really nobody to capture. There's somebody to capture. Okay. Well, Sira, who are you? Um, health, for starters. You have eight hours left. Right leg, left leg, rib, femur, torso. So nothing really bad. Um, you're a nudist. Well, that's going to bring something interesting to the game. Uh, can't really do anything, though. Very little passion for anything. Hmm. I'm not sure that you're the kind of character that anybody on the subscriber list really wants to, to own for the rest of the series. That's kind of what I've got to think about here. Um, crafting of three, just like uh, Cathra and and Michael, and we know we can't uh, <laughs> we can't train that up by block cutting. So I don't know. We'll capture and, and make that decision later. So Michael, you are flicking a switch. Oh yes, yes, please do so. Thank you. Now let's send you out here with Tomislav. So who's in that position? So send you to there. And those that are leaving, some of them are going to be moving pretty slow. So let's we'll just see how that works. Um, Chantico, you finished that one. Sangre, you're done. And you guys are all done. So let's give you guys some orders before you just start disappearing. Rabbit, you are going to go cut a poplar tree. No, you're going to... Well, let's unforbid some of these. Right there. What's that? X? No, F. Okay. Um, recurve bows. Short bows. What are you? Short bow. That didn't work. There we go. Um, don't see any more X's right there. Okay, we've got... Nope, I can't get just that dagger. So we'll do that one and we'll do that one. So all those are available to haul in now. Um, just kind of floundering here. What else is important for them to do? Not uh, Graves really is what's next. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six dead. Five dead. We have five dead and one wounded. Okay. So in that case, we're ready to double click on. That gave us all the six. Yep. Strip you guys. And go about burying, I guess. Let's see what's going to happen over here. Um, Alicia's taking her shot. Okay, Alicia. Run into here. Tomislav, actually go there. And Michael, get you into somewhere right in there so we hopefully won't shoot each other. Okay, we might get another one here soon. Oh, sure, taking a beating. He's dead. And Locust just got a thrill out of that one. I don't know if we want Locust in here. Okay, you go to there. Alicia, race over to here. Michael, race into next to Alicia. Handy's on her way in. Don't know if we're going to get off another shot. Might be able to get Tasca. Oh, there. Thank you. You're just taking the long way. But still, we're... Okay, well, it's a maybe. Uh, Tomislav, head to here. Oh, you can't. Alicia, stay there. And oh, we're done anyway. We're done anyway. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys, break, and let's strip these guys, and this guy right here. All right, I guess that's it. Have I missed anybody? Anybody still stuck in position, waiting to be released? No. Shantigo's there. We need to get probably Natalia up. Uh, sleeping needs. I'm going to leave you alone. Your negatives for being woke up just might, yeah, tending to Shantico, just might affect your uh, your medicine. Don't know. Klaus is hauling in. He's going to do some kibble. And we just kind of let people get settled in for a little bit. Then maybe it would be best to have Alicia assigned to haul bodies. I mean, just because she also gets more bonuses from it. 
you know, I didn't want to condemn her to that that role in this series, but it does make her quite happy. <laughs> I gotta say that. Um, that would be hauling, right? So Alicia, where are you right now? You're at the top. Let's set your haul to one and your mind to two for a little while and turn you loose. Uh, we took down two more. We need more graves. What are you guys? You're unmade graves, unbuilt graves. Okay. Um, Handy, you are repairing a granite wall, and you're going to want to repair beyond everything. That's right. If you've got a decent run speed, let's get you back out here. And I'm going to have to babysit you because you're going to initially set it up and you're going to leave. I'm going to have to tell you to do this whole thing twice. So let's do that. And Alicia, let's have you, well, strip. Michael, while you're here, let's do that. Um, oh, we have a, that's right, we have a prisoner. We have a, we have an injured party in here. Who, Michael, you're the closest, right? Anybody on this side? Sangri over here. Michael's got a faster run speed. Rabbit. About the same. All right, let's go ahead and capture. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right there. You are now a prisoner bed, which makes you a prison. And one, two... They're all normal, normal, and poor. Okay. So, Michael, go ahead and capture Sierra, and we'll just see what's going to happen here. All right. Um, there's something from my notes. Let's forbid that. No more walking through that door. And why do you look different from this one? Wood floor forbid. Okay. Do we not have a door there? It sure looks like there is. This is indoors. I have to click twice to get to you. Ah, door. There we go. All right. All right, you're coming in. Oh, I built copy. That's what I did. Okay. So, Alicia, you are just... Tomislav is on hauling. That's right. Um, Handy, you escaped. Yep, I thought you would. Okay, do that again. There we go. And Alicia is doing her job, and she is bearing human corpse. Tomislav's no longer on a go frenzy, so we can take him off of his hauling duty. And he will be very thankful for that. You're down here right now. So you're going off of there, and you're back onto research. And when all that's done, you go drop into hunt. But research will almost... Well, it will be done. Yeah, when it's... That's why you went uh, constructing over here with Handy that one time, because we'd finished the research. So when he's done, he'll drop into hunting, which there wasn't any. Then he'll go into construction. That's when he went over to help Handy build walls. So that's how that works. All right. So you guys have kind of got this under control, right? We're saying hi, and we're hauling bodies, and we're just having fun. Um, anything else that has not been unforbidden? Okay. We're fine there. And there's only one or two more in this area. Yeah. Okay. Well, all that's good. Rabbit's over here sewing, putting in daylilies and roses, and just trying to make everything nice again. Um, Lady Shell had mentioned that. Let's see if I can pull this up and explain it and see it for myself. Build roof, remove roof. Okay. That taking down, although I don't know that Handy's actually finished any of these, but she had said that by setting to take down just the field area, it actually left a piece of roof around the whole perimeter and that those plants underneath pause there's shooting going on um the plants underneath this this outer row no longer had sunlight so we had to remove everything from there to there and only then did we remove everything i'm going to do that to that one and i'm going to do just the inside to this one interesting i didn't have walls built or roof built on the tops of that one Huh. Okay, well, then, okay, let's verify. We're removing everything from inside there, and we're going to remove everything but the walls on this one. Let's let's compare the two and see what this looks like when it's all done. Logically, it would say that there'd be a roof on top of that wall, but this would all be open. So let's see what the actual effect is. You can kind of see it here. It's leaving a shadow around the outside. Okay, who's shooting? Somebody went hunting, and I thought I had uncued, if that's a word, everything. Huntable. Klaus, you are hunting raccoon. You are? Okay, so I missed one thing. And you finished. Okay, good shot. So, 
we do want to all go hunting, but I'm thinking that's now tomorrow. Shantiko, how did you do? And what do we got going over here? Okay. So Shantiko needs health. Cut to torso, liver, and right foot. And worst one is the right foot. You got 10 uh, rounds of, of uh, 10 ticks of healing to do on that one. Quality 75% because you're still set up for health for the herbals. That's why. Well, we're done with our diseases. So let's run through there and set us all back to blues. We'll do blues unless there's just a disease that's got to be done constantly. All right, that everybody? Yeah. And no more diseases that I missed? Nope, we're good in there. Okay, that's done. Now, rabbit is harvesting hill root. And you're going to pass by all these bodies on the way. Free bodies. Yeah. Um, Alicia, where are you at? You are just burying and burying and burying. Okay. Well, I'll let you leave you to it. Rabbit's going to get a little fright of his life here, passing by all these bodies. Oh, that one didn't trigger. This one, Handy's repairing. And that's all she's going to want to do for the next episode. That one didn't trigger. You're going to walk right through this one. <laughs> no, it didn't seem to trigger. Interesting. Um, no, nothing. Uh, character? You got nothing that indicates that. And somebody had mentioned something. Let's see here. I want to say it was Tony. I'm not sure. That Tomislav healed so fast because... Reminded me, he's got, he's super immune. So that's why he went through, um, what was it that he went through so fast? Was it the fibrous mechanitis or was it the flu? Or was it both? Could have been both. All right, he went through the, the flu real fast. And he had the other one and he, was it he? No, no, it was Shantigo and Michael that went through that one so fast. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Not truly consistent. Okay, we're getting our last round out of here. Handy is resting. I got the sense she came over to do a roof section. Love to see tomorrow what's up with the roofs. Over here, don't know if that's truly done yet either. So all of our repairs are done. Looking for broken pieces and kind of looks that way. Uh, this was shot up a bit. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, you are set to open. I need you set to open rabbit i need you to walk to here and then walk to here and then walk to there open okay walk to here thank you and then walk to here and there no 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 there <laughs> there you go okay and then go have a ball oh ran you through a dead body yep sorry about that Anyway, so that gets all of our doors open. So we can stand here, theoretically, what I was thinking was through in the darkness and shoot through and not be noticed. But anyway, yeah, Alicia's still hauling them away. Now that is doing what for her? Observe corpse. That's not Alicia. Okay, that did not make sense at all. Just killed someone. I thought that observe corpse would also give a bonus. It does not. So, is there not truly the benefit of doing this then? Bloodlust, simply... Uh, let's see here. That's, yeah, that's it. Never minds the sight of blood or death. So she doesn't get any negatives. She's not going to get any pluses from it, but she doesn't get any negatives either. So there's the advantage right there. She can do it without being harmed. The other ones will be harmed. Okay. And Rabbit, yeah, let's let you go ahead and get all this done. I was going to see who else could come out here and, and help out. Klaus is in pretty good shape. When you get done delivering that kibble, then I want you to help out by burying this one. And then, Alicia, you are there. You're probably going after this one. Is that it? Were you done? I think that's it. Okay, that takes care of the last two. All right, then we need to haul all this stuff in. Natalia doesn't haul. Kathra does, but she's playing horseshoes and probably needs it. Yep, she needs it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well then, from the comments, I've got 
all the comments in the last two episodes shrunk way down on my second screen. I'm trying to squint and read them. Probably not the best plan of attack there. I think I've covered most everything. Um, I think so. Yeah. So what do we do here? We still run into the problem of using limestone. Although that's not as big of an issue as over here. I used that here because I didn't want them accidentally going through the traps to go get a piece of limestone to go and make a sculpture from it or something. We're going to have lots. Well, I don't know how many lots we're actually going to have extra. We have a lot of walls to put in too. War merchant from the Rana of the River. Nah, we still don't have any way to really travel. Don't have any caravan animals yet. Caravan from the Run of the River is approaching. They are a war merchant. They will hang around the colony. Oh, they're coming to us. I thought this was a call to go out to them. They'll hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. Hmm. Uh, let's go here. You guys. Yeah. Now, let's do some testing this time. When Klaus talks to them, let's see if we've got a Devil Strand headdress and a where are the other devil strand things there were three people with it on we only managed to take down one of the three looks that way but here's something we're obviously not going to have in our inventory i want to see if we can sell this even though it's not in our inventory so that's a good test for just verifying how things work klaus where are you right now you're burying someone you're over there so great that works out just fine why don't you come and talk to gray and let's do a little test here. Otherwise, we're not running the sun lamp anymore. We've got batteries full over here and somewhere around just a little less than half full there. Uh, we're all on the wrong side of the river, aren't we? So Klaus, why don't you break and come back over here and we'll try this again. <laughs> all right. From there, let's go trade with Gray. And we'll have a meeting probably right here in our in our uh, tactical defense structure. Yep. Nope. Almost. Okay. Looking for a... Right there. And it doesn't have to be in a stockpile. Okay. It's confirmed. All right. So they've got 818 silver to sell. Let's see how much of that we can get. What do we have to sell first? Let's, what do they have that we need, though? Let's go through their list. That's f easiest. They've got a female lynx, which we don't need, but uh, that could be kind of interesting. Pemmican, herbal medicines. We've got probably enough to not worry about buying that anymore. We've got a whole new crop coming in over here. And we already had, I don't know, 50 or 60. I can't activate this now, can I? No. In fact, it'll probably say here. Oh, there we go. 76 and 11. Uh, no, which is ours? We have the 76, they have the 11. No, that's their price. I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, we got plenty. So they have... Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder if it's two different qu uh, quality levels. Hit point levels. Some worn out stuff and some... Because uh, it's on the same line. They got 17 of this and we have 76 of this. We also have 11 of that. Though it's the same doesn't tell me what its hit point is for the ones that we have for sale. That's interesting. Must be two different qualities. Two different... Uh, some was left outside and deteriorated and there's a pile of that somewhere. Um, unless it's treating the 11 up there in the barn as separate entities from these, which doesn't make sense, but okay. Let's work further further down here. We have a steel... They have a steel equa. They have a spear... They have a great bow. They have another great bow, and they have a great bow. Oh, we got more. They've got pants to sell. What are you? They have a smoke pop belt. Hmm. That's a one-time thing, right? Release a thick cloud of smoke if the wearer is hit by a projectile, but providing yeah single use line of sight cover, and preventing turrets from block locking on. Hmm. So a stealth run through and needing a quick cover and then getting, hmm. The other one, 
I'm not going to show it here, but the, um, not the smoke pot, but the personal shield. That's got a countdown. It'll take several shots before it finally breaks. So I'm thinking that's a far more uh, something that we would would want to uh, to think about getting a hold of. Over here, wooden war mask, devil strand. Wait a minute here. No, that's their devil strand tri tribal headdress, not ours. So we don't have one to sell. It would be right here. Which means it does need to be in a cancel pause. And it's in water. Well, I can still make a stockpile there. So if I made a stockpile right there, and hopefully that would randomly count, that should automatically cover um, all the apparels. Right, yeah, okay. Now it's in our course, you know, it's on our stockpile, but the game may take a little while to recalculate. Um, Klaus, don't sneak away too far. That's about long enough. Klaus, right there. Trade again. Now let's go look at that. Okay. Now does it say we have one? Now it says we have one. These things do need to be in stockpiles. That's what I'm getting from that. Interesting. Let's confirm that one more time. Cancel pause. What else is out here that is unusual? This shiv is a plasteel shiv 96%. So let's Klaus trade right there. Shivs, plasteel, we have one, 96%. That one's showing and is not in a stockpile. But this one clearly was not. So we're right back to where I was before. The randomness in this game is driving me insane. I don't know what to trust and what not to. There's two of them now. I'll have to go back when I edit to make sure that there weren't two of them before. I thought they'd both show up in the same line, one here, one there. But we have a masterwork at 69%, which is ours, and we have a one, a normal one that's theirs. So if we were to stockpile and delete and let the that is a forbidden door. That's a forbidden door. Wood floor. Door. Forbidden. They're ignoring the forbidden doors. Ah, another frustrating point in the game. But we've been a few seconds right there. Let's trade one more time with. Right here in Catherine's bedroom. But Klaus couldn't go through it. They can go through it, but Klaus can't. Now that's just not fair. Uh, disturbed only twice with this parade that just went through. And here we go. So I took out the stockpile. And it's still showing as being here. So I'll go back when I edit and verify that that wasn't there to begin with. Because now I'm left confused. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this stuff sold. I've just wanted to use this to test some things. Plasteel Advanced Helmet. Steel Advanced Helmet. Another Steel Advanced Helmet pour. This one is normal. Okay. We've got our Psychic Foil Helmet, which we haven't used. and We may in the end not use, but... Okay, so that is it. There's nothing they've got that we need then. That's kind of what I wanted to verify. So let's get rid of everything that we do not need. What do we not need? So all of the animals, I can't think of an animal we'd want to get rid of. Let's go on down here. We'll keep those 11 herbals, whatever is different about them. Um, into here. Steel club, those are ours. Slate club, we'll get rid of. Limestone club, we'll just keep the, the five steel ones. And call that good. Get rid of the plasteel shiv. Steel long swords, we're going to keep. They were good quality, well, normal. And just in case we do get a melee character that wants to use that. Um, we've got an auto pistol shoddy, 24%. We can make our own now. Let's get rid of the, the low end of those. Revolver, awful, 49%. Auto pistol poor, 41%. We'll get rid of that one. Can we make revolvers? I don't remember that being on the list. Maybe that's with precision rifling. Hmm. 
We'll keep that from now. It's only it's only two. Uh, short bows. Get rid of all those. Three of them. We should have three recurve bows. There's one there. I'll tell you what. Let's go through this. Sell everything. And then we'll see what's still on the map. And if there are all the things laying out there that aren't in stockpiles. It could be that the this one right here is going to continue to register because it, it was in a stockpile. Now it's kind of programmed into the game. Whereas before it wasn't recognizing it. So we'll go through and see if there's anything like that going on. It looks like we got to about here. So recurve bow we're going to get rid of. There's only one. There were three. I don't know if maybe two of them that escaped had recurves on them. That's possible. Auto pistol shoddy. That's the thing. Well, one of them I think we just made. So we'll definitely keep that one. Great bow. That's there. So ours right here. Auto pistol. Revolver. This is ours. Auto pistol. Incendiary. We have a great bow. Wait a minute. We? They're right there. Great bow that we just took off of that last group. There's another great bow. That's theirs. Heavy frags. All right. Cl uh, cl uh, cloth tribal wear. Their Arctic fox skin tribal wear. Ooh, that sounds good. Doesn't, uh, actually, you're right here. Okay. So two of those, one of those. Mega sloth wool tribal wear. So we'll get rid of all the tribals. That's right there. We've got a cobra skin parka. Hmm. And 60, but off of a dead person. Now we got to get rid of that. Okay. That would have been kind of interesting to wear around the place and do a fashion show. Turkey leather t-shirt, pants, those are all ours. Awful. I guess they're ours. <laughs> um, and I don't want to spend the time making new ones to replace these, so we'll just keep them for now. Let's let's get our base mined out. Cloth pants, poor 75%. We'll dump that one. Uh, deer hide pants, shoddy. Synthread t-shirt, 61%. That's the bare minimum that we're willing to wear. In fact, that's probably why it's there. It's probably taken off by someone when it hit the 61% uh, mark, so we'll get rid of that. Um, so far, they owe us 183, so we can keep going. Mega Sloth, Leather Duster, Shoddy, 97%. We'll keep, keep that, keep that. All right, so this group here, D. And that one is a D. And you guys are cloth toques, poor. We'll keep them. Uh, hats, hats. That's a keeper, keeper. So are you. Let's see, down in here now. Keep that one for now. And, okay, I'm going to hang on to all of the normal and above of the statues. So I've already placed all of those. So all of these can leave, which is quite a bit of silver. Where are we at now? 193? This takes us up to 710. So these are money makers. It's kind of a tough decision to make to get rid of something that might have a really interesting story to it that you kind of want to hang on to, but it can also make us a lot of money. So I'm gonna, I think the easiest way to do it is just to draw the line from normal and above. Get rid of all of the poor and shoddies. That's basically our practice stuff right now, trying to get better at art. Anyway, that gets us 710. Nothing else down here. Is there anything else of decent value that can steal their last 108? Um, I really hate to dump the psychic foil helmet. Where do you go, anyway? Let's look at that one more time. No, you're down here somewhere. Near the hats, right in this area. Right there. So that one, helmet contains finely tuned sheets of psychically absorbent foil. Reduces the impact of psychic events. We've made it through that last psychic event okay. We could have used this, probably should have used this, but we may get a character later that is even more sensitive to it than who we have now, and we'll be thankful we had that. So I'm going to hang on to that one. Otherwise, we do have some... Hmm, we could get rid of some shoddy stuff and take a little more silver away from them. We could. So if we do that, we've got 18 plus... 31, so 49, I think is what that comes to. What do we got in here? We're already selling that one. 49. It's right in here, isn't it? Awful, awful. There's 39. Let's get rid of just one. The more expensive one. And... What else is in here that we've hung on to? You guys, so we got rid of one duster. We've still got another two. No, we've got one more duster. And shirts. 
t-shirts. There they are. So we got rid of one already somewhere. I wish they were all in order, but they're not. Well, I think it's about as close as we're going to get. So let's just hit accept on that one and pause. We didn't buy anything from them, so there'll be nothing laying in here. But I want to take an inventory now. Are we truly? No, we're not. See all these things that uh, that are not... In fact, we could have hung on to that duster. Because now there's not a whole lot left to uh, to, to work with. But yeah, it's they've got to be in stockpiles. That's the impression that I was under. Or is it just because those are in water? You know, that could have something to do with it. Because everything else is gone. Okay. So, the rule of thumb is you can't leave them in water. That doesn't count. It's got to be on the ground to count as our possessions. That's what I'm gathering from that. Let's stockpile you guys. And Klaus, one more time. Let's let's go bug um, Gray over here. There we go. Now we got to find them. Hmm. So, there was a sword. A good steel longsword, 40. We have 28 left. Arr, give me back my, uh, my, uh, in fact, they won't, they won't sell me something back at the price I sold it to them, right? That was this guy. They want 205 for it now. Okay. Mm well, there was a travel wear. Let's find that one. We'll get, we'll get rid of that one. And there was a, what was the other thing? A mask. There was a mask in there, right there. 133. So we're going to get three of that 28. And 25, can't really deal with that. Can we... There's something I haven't tried before. What was that other thing? The sword. Right here. If we do that and say, yes, we you owe us 43, but we'll take your 28 and call it good. It won't. Oh, it will confirm. Insufficient silver, proceed anyway. Yes. You can have it for a discount. Thank you. We robbed you blind. Okay, Klaus is going to bed. We've got a whole bunch of silver sitting out here. And you guys are going to walk right through our forbidden doors. You turkeys. Watch this. Where's Trout going? He stopped. Okay. Okay, let me ask you this. I don't know the answer. I don't remember the answer. I'm waiting to see if they're going to defy my assumption here. Okay. Were they on the map already before I went through and forbid these? And so they already had their path pre-programmed? Nope. There they go. Right through the forbidden door. Okay. So we're clearly going to have to go through and um, put walls in here. Because this is where they're always going to hang around. Okay. So these two have got to be done. And that's just a mess. We're just going to have to deal with that. This doesn't happen that often, but it happens often enough that these two rooms are just, you know, just, just you know, disturbed so many times. Anyway, Michael, try to get asleep. Um, tell you what, you've already been disturbed once. I'm going to disturb you one more time by sending you down here for the night. Michael, right there. And Michael needs disturbed sleep. Did, did it switch over to two? It didn't, and you're going to go grab a meal anyway. Okay. Because they're just going to keep roaming through here. Hopefully they don't go into here as often. Hoping not. And Shanti goes out of here for the night anyway. You're going in. Michael's going to grab a meal and head down into there. Okay. So we're... Wow. Where'd the time go? We're at the end of the episode. Hmm. Okay. Well, the last... Well, there's there's several more... A doe self-tamed. There's several more things I wanted to do. And I guess we're just going to have to wait till next time. Um, I already talked last time about setting the moisture pumps into all three of the areas where there's water. Right here. Right... Well, we know about this one. And the other one is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and set moisture pumps off-camera wire get wire down to them and, and power them and I guess just tidy up little things like setting the walls in these places things like that um, someone I say someone because I read a lot of comments all day long I want to say Tony 
uh, glancing at the screen over there. He left a lot of comments today, so I'm not certain now. Might have been him. I had mentioned that you know we've got the somebody mentioned that we've got the the turret defenses for the bedrooms planned, but we don't have any defenses for the hospital. And it's because I really can't come up with a logical way to lay it out like this and make it work. It's possible we could. Hmm, an idea just came to me, but it's not that easy. It really isn't. If we could come up with rows like these of miniature rooms for hospital rooms with a turret path between, but it just doesn't work. I think in here, in order to um, uh, combat a bug infestation, it's really just setting the the animal zone called uh, um, Bug Bomb in the middle of one of these rooms if this becomes infested and then assign a boomalope to it and he'll just wander his way in, go through the door and hopefully the door will close in time and they'll attack him and he'll, he'll die and then he'll go boom and they'll all burn up. So that's what I want to do with the boomalopes. We want to get out there as soon as we get more on the map and get them tamed and tamed and probably obedience and then stop at that and then just kind of keep them around but we'll keep them around in their own separate pasture you know, they'll be pastured out over, maybe we'll go through this, and they'll be pastured over here with a supply of, of uh, hay and a warm, I don't think they need a warm place in the winter, but I might be wrong, but they at least need food in the winter, you know, a separate pasture somewhere than, than everywhere else, so that if one dies, it doesn't go boom and take out all the other animals that are sleeping with it in the, in the barn, sort of a thing. Um... Otherwise, yeah, I'll just do little piddly things and we'll get back to where we where we were going to go last episode before this all happened, which is probably a massive hunting party. You go through and take out a whole herd, which has moved. You guys are up here now. We have a mega sloth up here. And we need to get meat in. And next episode, I think, is going to be a a, uh, a safari. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go walk about and go hunting. Anyway, it's been Noble Rambler rambled long enough. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.